Here we are midweek following the fifth beatitude, calling us to be merciful. Blessed are those who are merciful, for they will receive mercy. So we ended our talk last Sunday on the, the questions of where we have experienced mercy personally and where we are then willing and ready to be merciful to others. Mercy having two senses, pardoning someone who's wronged you, and also being kind to someone in need, both dimensions of mercy. So a couple of quotes I noted, I read them again. Those who do not love feel superior to everyone else. Those who love feel equal to everyone else. Those who love much gladly take the lower place. So to move beyond judging, to see people as equals, and perhaps even to see ourselves and ready to take the lower place to serve others, Coretto writes. And then Van Bremen's statement, everyone needs more forgiveness than they deserve. So those are two ideas that we can hold on to. And so simply, I just ask you to think in terms of perhaps doing an examine in your life where you reflect on where you have received mercy. Where have I received mercy? Where has someone pardoned you for doing wrong? And then to recognize that and to be able to be funded in your own life from that place, to learn something from that place and then being able to pass that kind of forgiveness on to someone else, not to forget it, not to just put it way back in the background and it's it's gone, but to remember in a positive way how that might lead you to grow in your person. And then also, you know, where might you show mercy right now? Where you might show mercy this week? Here we are back in the fall, Things are still moving along, still lots of challenges with COVID, challenges with school, teachers, challenge with church folk, challenge with neighbors, work colleagues, lots of little irritations going on in our world. How do I actually pardon someone this week, not judge someone? So blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Jesus is calling us to this action of love, of agape love in a very tangible way. Not to hate our enemies, but to show love. Not to judge, but to forgive, we're told. And so may we reflect on our own lives, where have we received, and then entertain the areas where we can maybe pass that on to others. To be merciful, because our king is merciful, and we are citizens in his kingdom, so let's show mercy together. I offer these words. In Christ's name, amen.